Hello everybody and welcome back to Little Wood. <laughs> oh, where, oh I know what happened last time. I forgot to do the dings before bedtime so I thought I would leave them. I would just save and I'd leave them for next time. Not that they were particularly interesting dings. We did a bit of crafting there. So now it is the morning time. <laughs> also, ah, we would have missed this. Oh, an opportunity arises. I must make my grand entrance and show these two downsfolk how amazing my voice is. Oh, that's cool, Max. I didn't know they were your favourite bard band. Yeah, their mellow tunes and deep lyrics really inspire me to write poems. Say, Ash, who's your favourite bard band? Oh, so this one was Max. Oh, no, it's Arpeggio and Max and Ash. There's only one guy who takes my favourite spot and it's Quasimoto. His rock and tunes get me amped up. Greetings, my fellow townsfolk. I am Arpeggio, the travelling bard. Shall I grace you both with my beautiful voice? Yeah, Ash and I have to agree, Quasimoto is really talented. Not only is his voice amazing, but he's quite the performer on stage. I shall now sing a song. Whenever he gets on stage, the crowd goes wild. How can one bard have that many good songs? I have good songs too. Yeah, it truly is amazing. Hey, we should go to a Cosimoto concert one of these days. That would be awesome, Max. I, I am a failure. Huh? Oh, hi, Arpeggio. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Hey, Arpeggio, we were just discussing our favorite bard bands. Wait a sec, aren't you a bard? I would like to be. Oh, bless him. Lilith has a gift for me for finishing part of her house. Unread mail, let's have a look. Dear she love, I don't do fishing that much because it requires a lot of patience. Congrats on having 65 levels worth of patience. Zena, thank you very much. Dear she love, I sang at the top of my lungs today at the town square. Everyone cheered because they love me. I'll ped you. <laughs> I'm glad someone did. Let's go and see Lilith quickly. Now then, I think that's nearly all of the special moments done. Which is kind of crazy. I found this in the endless forest the other day. Is it really magical? Magic stump. Ooh. Let's have a look at the boards. Uh, dynamo pop, perfect brick for fancy bricks at the marketplace. Okay, I'll do that if I can be bothered. <laughs> I should also have a quick look and see if I've had gathered enough motatos for my personal quest. Because that was a thing, wasn't it? Haha, -ha, I have. Nice, 100 dew drops and a special chest. And now I need to collect 40 wood, 40 stone, 20 bugs, 20 fish and 50 items at the marketplace. All of those will just happen over time, no doubt. No doubt at all. We're nearly halfway through. <laughs> it's taking me my time to do these things. Although I'm sure that they'll get easier with time, no doubt. Okay, the next thing I want to do is have a quick look at my journal and just remind myself, I haven't played in a little while, so just remind myself of exactly what I need to be doing. So. Um, uh, one special moment, which is when Arpeggio gets to level 15. So Arpeggio could do with coming on a little run around with me today, I think, uh, if possible. And we have still these four left to get. We still need to get a golden mushroom. We still need to get the purple flu flowers, the mystical tarpons, and the root bugs. Oh, sorry. We have two mystical tarpons. So one mystical tarpon, and I think two silver poppies, or maybe even three. I think we might have already sold one, possibly, but I won't know until I get another one how many are sold. Because that's the way the game works. Um, okay, so. Purple Floof we can work on. Golden Shroom I just have to find, or hope. Um, so one thing that I want to do today, then. I will be going fishing. I will be going uh, fishing. And I will be going to get the root bugs. I will be going to the insect catching bit. But another thing, one of the things I might need to do to get the golden shroom is to get things like whisperies and radishes that the animals are asking for to level up. There might also be a statue somewhere possibly to do with the animals that will allow them to produce golden stuff. So I don't really know exactly. Um, but also I might sometimes get it in Deluca once everything moves around on a Saturday. Um, if I go, if I go to here. Um, hang on a second. This place, this upgrade place. Now, if I go up into there, right, and I go to this upgrade, I think it was. Um, 
Travelling with the townsfolk will drastic. No, 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 that wasn't the one I needed. It was this one. The item merchant and the casino will now have rare items. So if I can get enough of these things, Plurodons, Moonlight Orbs, Ancient Isopod and Sea Stars. So these three are for fi from fishing, and that's just um, from uh, smelting up some rare ores. I probably honestly have enough of those. I probably have enough of those. I've probably used a lot of those, so I probably don't have enough of those. Let's see, that's, I don't have enough materials. Oh yeah, I've got four, four of eight. eight. I've got eight sea stars, but I've only got four ancient isopods. And I've got no moonlight orbs. I do apparently have the three pluridons. I wanna just double check that. I do indeed. So actually I've got a lot of this stuff. Um, just a minute. So if I go fishing to get ancient isopods uh, every time I see them, and then I go and make some moonlight orbs, I will be able to get uh, rare items from the item merchant, uh, item merchant and the casino, which will probably drastically increase my likelihood of getting things. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, I'll get my chest first. Look a coin. Oh, that might be handy. That might be handy, actually. And also, let's go see if we can find Arpeggio. Have a chat. Also, may as well. See, Goop Melons. Set. Hang on, there was something there. Oh, that's a golden carrot, right? Okay. None of them want to eat a golden carrot, as far as I know. That sheep just wants to eat corn, so that's fine. You got some milk for me. You need a pumpkin. That's fine. I've got those growing as well. And you want... Oh, you've got a shroom to give me. You want a radish. So, as I say, I think the higher levels for the animals, where they possibly might be giving me the golden stuff, uh, I need to, to level up in the woods. So you guys have been saying that I'm looking now quite desperately to level up in woodcutting. So I do need to use the coffee shop. Um to do that because, you know, it's something I, I want to be up increasing my wood cutting so it's, um, it's become something that's going to be quite useful to me. Wagashugi! I got some grassy earth. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. We've got quite a few things to build as well at the moment. I mean, I think if I look in build mode under the, um, the important town objects, that's what I want to be trying to do. So we've got like a fossil statue. Oh, that needs ancient isopods as well. Maybe that will mean I get more fossils. You know, bee statue might help me get better bugs. So I need to be moonstone, sunstone and white lodestone. A leaf totem. You know, I want to be trying to build a few of these things each time. Perfect planks and perfect bricks and things like that for them. Um, but the, I've got a lot to do today. I've got a, a lot on my list and then things start dropping out of my head when that happens. Oh, one thing. One thing you've been sh oh, so shouting. No, not really shouting, but you know. Very adamant in the comments that I do. Very adamant indeed. Is to go to the fruit room of the museum. Because there's something in there that I've missed. Oh, no, this is the, the other side. Hang on. Let's do this side. The fruit, mu fruit room of the museum. Apparently I have missed something. He was literally stood there. Huh? What's this sneaky fox doing in here? <laughs> I found the sneaky fox eating fruit in my fruit room in the museum. Oh man, I'm like, is there any others in here? Are there any other sneaky? I mean, I literally walked past that one so many times. It's so funny. But I was so, so concerned about other things. I was just like, yeah, that's just the dude that's, that's in here, right? <laughs> that's that's just, just the way it is in here, right? <laughs> oh, I have a fish to go there, but th that fish, they're not having it. They're not having that fish. Not off me today. Okay, I'm going to head out of the museum, as I say. I've got a lot of things to do. I won't bother making the moonlight orbs until until I have the isopods, I don't think. So the first thing I think I want to do today is go fishing and then to the library and go catch uh, rare insects. 
And then I'm gonna have a look at the, it doesn't look like a ton of stuff has grown with my flowers, but we'll go and do that in a minute. Actually, let's do, do the library first and the fishing second. I don't know why, I just feel like it. And there's no point in me checking on anything until Saturday in Deluca itself, but I'm gonna go there for the fishing today. So, we do not have root bugs today. We have a few other nice bugs, but not root bugs. So I'll spawn them, I'll catch them, like I always do. And eventually, the right one will come up. And I only need like one, it's so tragic. But like I say, there's so many other things I want to do along the way anyway, so, you know, there's plenty. There's things in people's houses, I've forgotten exactly um, what in people's houses I need to do. I, as I say, I, I do check that like every Monday now. Every Monday I go around everyone's house and I just have a little check and see if there's anything I can upgrade. And I think that that's enough because if I keep going around everyone's houses and, and checking on things when it's not on Monday, then quite often there's only one or two things that I can add. So uh, things that I, and quite often they're things that I don't have the the um, the bits for anyway. All right, so we've been to the Grand Library. We've caught the bugs. We need to go to Port City to Luca and catch the fish. Let's see what we can get today. If we can get isopods, then that's great. If we can get um, silver poppies, that's great. Let's talk to Freddy because he gives us luck. Hey there, Sheila. Hamilton and I are going to gamble at the casino later today. He says I can double all my money if I bet it all at once. <sighs> sound advice, Hamilton. Sound advice. <laughs> hey, I won it big at the casino last night. Here, this is my gift to you. A peach shot? Are you kidding me? Like, you win big at the, the casino and you give me, like, a peach. Okay, well, let's go get the rare ones first. Let's see what we've got. Um, none of the ones I need. We get extra EXP and C stars, but we get a weird, weird looking thing that I don't think I have in the library if I go here to Lake Okiwoki. So I'm going to go to Lake Okiwoki and see if I can get the weird thing because I don't think I have it in my museum and I would like to get things for the museum. The trout. Okay. I know that one will need to be over here then. Another trout, okay. And some more trout. Oh, am I not gonna get the rare fish today? Oh man! Really? That sucks. I would have gone to get sea stars otherwise. Let's catch all the fish around here because sometimes you get a nice sea star or a, something, some nicer fish around here than I would just get in the pond at home. Minnow. There are certain fish that you can only get at certain times of the year and certain days and things like that. Um, so whether I bother to get all of those to the museum, I don't know, but... Museum, I, I'll, I'll fill as much as I can, but it's not going to be a, a big thing to completely fill it up. Unless, unless I decide it is, you know, I might decide, oh, I want to keep playing loads. Freddy, your luck was rubbish today. The luck was awful. I wanted to get ancient isopods and things. Okay, so I'm gonna go next to... I'm gonna look at my flowers and then we'll go to the end of this forest and I'm gonna... I'm basically wanting to try and upgrade... Uh, my... upgrade my, um... wood cutting skill. So that I can get to the third part of the forest because there's stuff in there that I need. We have a lot of blue tootsies now. Oh look, we have a pink floof. We have some floofs that have been sort of growing wild up here. Uh, have I just been missing caring for my flowers or something? Um, so I needed a purple floof. So usually uh, purple is... Well, let's just have a look at what we've got. Purple is like red and blue, isn't it? So we've got loads of red and blue. I don't know what's happened here. Like, it looks like really overgrown. <laughs> like, I just forgot about flowers for a couple of days. I don't know. I don't know what I did there. So, um, let's see. Build mode. Elevate move. So we've got a red floof, a white floof, a pink floof, and a blue floof. So if I put... 
red floof, because this is how we got the purple. We've got red and blue tootsies together. So if you get a red floof and this blue floof and this blue floof here and this red floof here. There we are. And hopefully that will make me a purple floof in time. Um, and then there's, there's another red floof, so why don't we put that like somewhere nearby to the blue floof? Just that might help a bit. There's something in the way. And so people were saying like I'm more likely to get what I need if I put all the other flowers away that I don't need. So maybe that's a thing too. Maybe I should put everything away except what I'm working on at the moment. I mean, obviously a few a few little flowers in the town, sure. So why don't we take them all away, collect them. And then I can plant them again if I want to uh, breed something with them. And that way it's going to be a little bit more clear. It was something I've been going through the comments and something a lot of you were trying to say was just get these out of the way. I've got them for the, a lot of them from the museum already now as well, um, but I do I want to start breeding some of the other ones for the museum. I would slowly go through them, but the first one I really do want to try and uh, concentrate on is getting the, the the purple floofs for the museum there. And if we happen to breed a rare floof while we're trying to see, there's so many blue blue tootsies here now. We do just so happen to build to breed a rare floof while we're doing the purple floof, so and that's fine too. But I need to breed some yellows of things because I've done a lot of like blues and pinks and reds and things like that. We don't have a lot of like things that have been bred with the yellows, so I'll have a look and I'll see. So oh, I've actually picked up the thing that I needed to put down. That's fine. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get it out again in a minute. Right, so the white floofs and, and stuff, they all ended up breeding into something totally random. So now I need to pop down uh, flowers, and I need the red floofs and the blue floofs. So red floof, red floof. Oh no, now they're gonna grow again. That's not funny, is it? Silly she lab. But things are a lot more, um... A lot more cleaned out now, so that I feel a lot better about that. I also might take a few of these away. There's a lot by the town hall. Or well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave them for decoration. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll sort of, like, um... Keep them for decoration, but I'll maybe move them around a little bit. So they're not just totally everywhere. They'll pop one over here. So they look a bit more natural. At the moment they're just really like crammed in together, aren't they? And I'm just looking a bit natural and a little bit wild as well. There we go. I've got a lot of yellow lollipops, but I'm not sure that I even have yellow um of the other ones, so uh, 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 yellow zigzag. I do have yellow zigzag, or do I? Will it? If I try to put it down, will it say no? You don't have it. Oh no, I do have a yellow zigzag. Okay. Well, you can grow. And a yellow dewcap. Do I have a yellow dewcap? I do. I only have like one, but one is enough. So yeah. We've got a couple of yellow flowers now, and I'm going to probably start breeding using those. Uh, but as I say, most important right now is to get the, the purple tootsie done. I'm annoyed with myself for accidentally picking those up. I got a bit, like, a bit too into it, but that'll only put me behind by another day. Okay, so people are also saying I need to move my trees around, because I can now harvest, like, three at a time of those. Oh, okay, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to harvest those, because there's one that's still not grown. I like them all to be, like, ripe at the same time. So that's fine, we won't be doing that today. Um, so, wood cutting, because I've got my wood cutting bonus, so that's going to be the next thing to do. Also, I never found Arpeggio today. Where is he? Is he in his house? 
Where are you, Arpeggio? Is that you over there or is that Max? Oh no, there you are. Let's at least have a chat. When catching bugs, it's important that you use proper form. Your hand must come down in one fell swoop as you dramatically look in the other direction. Oh, and one leg must be raised, pointing to the heavens. Because that won't make it more difficult. My eyes, thank you, they are a vibrant green. And we'll hang out as well. Okay, come chop wood with me. Uh, we should sell some stuff so that we can buy furniture for people. Oh, we've got loads of weeds. Let's sell them today. Oh, and eggs, apparently, we're also selling. That's fine. <laughs> I don't care anymore, really. As long as I make a little bit of money to buy furniture with, I'm not really bothered. All right, let's go to the endless forest and chop as many trees as we can. We're just looking for levels right now, but obviously if money happens to be there too, then I'm not going to complain. So I'll be interested in how much more EXP I get from this, because I, it's, um, let's see, three. Oh, you normally get two from that, don't you? And you get two from that, which you normally get one, I think. And the golden trees, which has a lot of actually. And bees for here today, you get four. I think you normally get three. So I think you're getting an extra one for everyone you chop down. Hello, adventurer, what are you up to today? I'm gonna fly around to some pretty flowers. Maybe I'll take a bath in the pond. Beastford, I'm really sorry, um, but I need yellow flowers of every kind, so I'm just gonna take these ones if that's all right. Thank you. Love you, Beastford. <laughs> like, I take your stuff off and so I'm like, love you, love you, bye. Yeah, there's loads of yellow flowers here today. We, we actually have quite a few yellow lollipops. So that's not the end of the world. Um, I'm just trying to get the most lucrative EXP trees that I can. And then we'll have a look in the other forest as well. Just if there are any golden trees or armwood trees. Apparently, I, like there was one episode where I, I walked past about four armwood trees or something gonna happen sometimes sometimes I'm just not gonna have quite the same attention span as other times and I'm gonna miss things it's, it depends on what I'm talking about what I'm doing at the time lots of golden trees here so that gives us lots of extra exp although I think now I'm too tired and I need to go to bed so I'll grab the chests um, unfortunately like we spent a lot of time getting the purple trees when we should have gotten the golden trees which is a little unfortunate. Oh, my legs are so stiff today. Sorry, if I keep like wiggling around a bit and you can hear it, it's because I've got really stiff legs and I don't know why. Probably because like my muscles were wasted away in lockdown and I actually went to walk to the shops yesterday. Okay, so I'm gonna return home and go to sleep. And hopefully my, so yeah, my arpeggio levels have gone right up, lovely. My wood cutting, Barely went up at all. Wow. I may have to spend an entire day just woodcutting. Tarek has a gift for me. Wonderful. Let's go and see him today. Hey, money for me. Tarek will be in his house today. Everyone will be in their houses today. I appreciate your help with designing my new forever home. Here's my favourite sword. A, bu a rust, uh, sorry, a busting sword. Indoor furniture. Round, a pillar of light, white pillar, house crest. I think I could make the pillar of light and stuff like that, but. So it's just that this is the very last five requests for his house. His house is looking pretty, pretty darn nice right now. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's go and see the gobbies and have a chat. Honestly, to get to level 15 shouldn't be too hard. Poogie woogie with, uh, with Arpeggio. Honestly, just having a little chat with him every day. This morning I walked around Dreamweb while drinking a delicious coffee. Do you have a favorite flavor? I prefer the hazel brew. Well, we need hazel brew right now. I'm just gonna have a chat. So yeah, all my flowers should have been watered for me today, which is wonderful.
But yeah, I need to be apparently planting my trees in rows of three because I can now uh, harvest them in rows of three. So let's just see what I can do there because are they all completely away from each other? They're all like, yeah, okay. I see. So if I if I went into build mode and I went to elevate move. And now I went like this. I would probably fit more trees next to each other for a start. I always do that. I always end up making a mistake. Mm, you guys can go next to each other. And you can go up there. I'm not so worried about having having them in a particular order or anything like that. I just want to pop them in batches of three. And then in theory I should be able to just stand there and harvest three at once. Which would be so much better. Oh. Three there. I've got one left over. How annoying. But in theory now I should be able to just harvest three at a time and it should be much much easier. So okay let's try this. Oh yeah. So much faster. Thank you very much guys. Sorry, it, like I did a, a big batch last time, so I've had to sort of um, spend time now trying to work on all the things that you suggested that I do. <laughs> so sorry if it's taken a while for me to get to the point where I've done all of this sort of stuff. Grouped my trees in groups of threes. I'll put you up here. No, 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 don't destroy, don't destroy. Um, elevate move. I want to see if I can give it a couple of friends as well. Can I plant some more trees, maybe? I don't know what I would want. A goop tree. Um, I don't know what I need more of. I'll do another puppy apple tree. And then maybe another goop melon tree. I, I'm sure one of them asked for a goop melon. And I was like, I don't have goop, goop melons, but I do because, like, what I don't have is the jello melons. So I think I was being a bit silly there. You want a golden bell. So I apologise for my silliness there if, I, if it was a goop melon they wanted. They're not so perfect. Happy yappa. Cabbage. Okay. So, um, I'm, I'm not going to take anybody out on this rainy, horrible day. Let's go see what insects we've got and what fish we've got today. Eventually it will come around. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to keep going. Until eventually we get the right thing. Someone apparently, they got the, the insect. I think they were struggling on the elder wasps. And there was one day that they got them. And then, like, they didn't catch a single elder wasp. And I was like, oh my goodness, what a shame. So there's no uh, root bugs there today, so I'll just spawn the bugs and catch them. Like I do every day. These are always good to sell. You know, these are slightly rarer bugs, so for the for the amount of effort I put into it, much better. Some of you guys were also saying there's a rare, there is a rare pet behind the library. I was looking and looking and looking and looking, but I'm going to look again. Because I believe you guys. And I was I was looking because I was like, it's definitely a rare building. I'm just gonna keep pressing. I'm clicking. I'm pressing and clicking. Oh, 
thing and, and do my space bar. Haha, <laughs> got ya! We got the cactus. It was like it's behind a big building. I, I really have to try to get that though. So there we go. Thank you, commenters, for finding me those two. Let's go and have a look how many we found and how many we need to find now. I think it's just looking in barrels. Um, so I'm, I'm, I feel a little bit vindicated with that one because I was trying to do that exact same thing. I just didn't do it enough. So I had the right idea. I just didn't have the courage in my convictions. So that one, I need to mine like... Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. I haven't even gotten to 1,000 yet, and it wants 3,000. So that's going to be miles away. I may never get it. Last seen in a tree somewhere. Don't know what that would mean. And last seen in a barrel somewhere. So, yeah. We now have four out of the eight. Nope. We have five out of the eight. We have three left to get. Um, but I don't know where, which barrel they're going to be in. I mean, I keep looking in the ones in here. Just in case. But a barrel somewhere really doesn't cut it because it's like there's so many barrels in this game, it's not even funny. I have new animals every Monday and Friday, so I could get myself like a little pet cat or something if I wanted to, if I had enough money. But I think I'm going to save up for my wedding ring. And furniture. Always need the furniture. So, the next thing I want to do is to go fishing and see if we got good fish. And then I will do more and more and more. Tree chopping, but we need to go back to the coffee shop first. There's isopods, but there are no one of the ones that we need. So I'm going to go to the dark sea, get the extra EXP, and see if I can fish up some isopods today. One ancient isopod, wonderful. Two ancient isopods, even more wonderful. Oh no, I missed one. No, that could have been an isopod. No! Oh, I got three. That's almost enough now. That's wonderful. I think I now have seven out of eight of the ancient isopods. Um, and I have everything else I need. So if I have one more day, which I probably will at some point, where we get an ancient isopod, then, uh, yeah, I can upgrade to try and get that uh, that mushroom, basically. Yeah, sea star. Just in case I needed any extra ones. We did all the fishing there, and so now I want to go back to Dreamweb. And uh, grab a hazel brew, and then go and try and level up. Uh, my endless forest, my, my wood chopping. I really don't know if I want to just spend a whole day in the endless forest. But then I'm going to feel like, oh no, I wanted to go back to Dreamweb, not the endless forest. I need to get that that sweet, sweet extra EXP. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because then I, what if that's the day that the root bug showed up? Do you know what I mean? So I feel like but what I could do is go and check, and if it's not the ones that I want, I can just not bother going to get them. But yeah, that extra 1 EXP per chop. Very useful. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get some cool flowers. We'll have to see. Brew. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to do it the other way around today. I'm going to go here first. There's more likely to be more rare trees in the higher level area. Oh my goodness. Really? It like spawned me in behind a dark tree? Wow. Yeah, that was a good idea. There's loads of golden wood in here, which is handy for all these things that are wanting perfect planks and perfect bricks and stuff as well. So weird with that tree. I want to know what... Oh, it's got a golden tree behind it. Okay. 
We have chopped many, many golden trees. There's a golden tree stump there as well. And because I'm only really here for EXP, I'll grab that chest, actually. And I will grab that uh, red zigzag, because I don't think I have many of those right now. It'll be handy for flower reading later down the line. Okay, so I'll leave the forest. And let's go to the other bit of forest and see if there's any golden trees that I can cut down, or any armwood or leafwood trees. Oh, you're right in the way. How annoying. Butterfly. Yeah, there's a golden tree there at least. Mm, okay, and loads of like purple trees. We'll get a few of them then. And go home to bed because I'm about to pass out. That was a good day for woodcutting, hopefully. Arpeggio is up to level 13, so probably next episode we'll have that next cutscene with him. And... Tarek has a gift for me. Did I do two levels of his stuff? I must have done. Cool. So what level is my, my woodcutting now? It seems to be going up so, so slowly. 54. Wow. So I'm going to start with that plan, that woodcutting plan, I think, now. So we've got loads of new flowers. Let's go and see what they are. So well done for getting 65 and gathering. I'm not too great at bending down anymore. This gives, uh, this back gives me trouble sometimes. Dudley. Two plumberries. One cabbage. Level 80 in farming. Wonderful. Oh yeah, I had to do a load of farming yesterday. That did not help with um, how much stamina I'd used up. So far we've used none. So accept gift. Would you like a giant shield? Nice. Sure. Sounds great. <laughs> I can't afford to give away my fancy bricks and perfect bricks. No. I know. I'm wasting all my time on weeding and stuff. Hello, cactus dudes. Nice to have you in my town, finally. Right, so. Um, I'm actually wanting to go over by... Over here, there is something that has grown, but what is it? Da, 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 da. It's another red floof, okay. So I shall place it here, and then we'll go and water them. Now, I think sometimes on the days where it rains, there's like flowers popping up everywhere, but because I'm con in control a lot more on sunny days, over what does and doesn't get watered, I just water the thing that I want specifically to grow and there's a good chance that I might get it, so we'll, we'll give that a go. The purple floof is definitely on its way because we've got red and blue, so the next thing will be purple. And if I look in the journal, I think that's the last one for the flowers, so after then it's just whatever I want to pop into the... I think anyway, yeah. Yeah, the purple floof is the last flower I need to breed for the books. Then it is a golden shroom the fish and the root bug and once i've gotten all of those i'm allowed to then try and go to the edge of the world which is going to be really really interesting at least i hope it is i've been working really hard so if it's not interesting i'm going to be really annoyed it is a saturday today though so i can go and have a look in the marketplace and see if there's any cool stuff um, i'm also searching for ancient isopods because that will allow me to get rarer stuff in the casino and marketplace on my saturdays and Sundays. Um, just trying to think what I want to sell. I need like highly. 97 for turnips. Wow. Pumpkins are 75. A golden carrot sells for 150. But what if I need it? Cucumbers sell for quite a lot. And I've got a lot of them. So. I need to hit that sweet spot, don't I? Yeah, let's sell a few cucumbers today. But the money I have, I've been saving all week to try and pick up all the new stuff in DeLuca. So the first thing I want to do on any Saturday is to go to DeLuca. I will go fishing. 
Right, so we have a Skyrock. That might be useful. I'll pick it up if I can. Um, well, I didn't have many Skyrocks that might be needed for something. A victory lamp. I think someone needs that. A blue lily. And a toy bear. I'm almost certain there's someone that needs that toy bear. Um, I think it might have been Lady Laura. I'm not sure though. I'm going to have a look in the casino. I'll have a new chance on this today. No golden mushroom though, so that's fine. Got a river crystal. River crystals are kind of handy. What's in here today? A golden acorn. Need that for the museum actually, so I'll try and get it if I can. Uh, why the night? Piece of rock. A normal mushroom. Regalium. <laughs> One last one. I probably won't be able to get this today. No. That sucks. Nah. Did I get a gift that I can open? Got some grassy earth. Alright, not having much luck today on that one. Oh well. Happens sometimes. Let's go to the auction house and just check in there. Do you know what? I haven't been doing this episode. I apologise as well. I've had a lot on my mind. There's, there's always so much to do in this. Um, I haven't been upgrading the museum or Dalton's place. So I'll make sure that I do that um, like today and then also next episode. So, we've got the blobby fish thing. No, we'll just go for the maybe the extra EXP today then. Because it's this purple sludge. There's a smooth rock. Uh, but not a ton of stuff that I actually need. If I ever miss the tarpon somehow, I, I, I apologise, okay? There's every possibility that that might happen at some point. Alright, fishing all done. Bug catching. I'm not going to worry about catching those extra fish today. I want to put more of my efforts into um, wood chopping. I'll buy the sky rock though. Heart clover. Do I have many heart clovers? I've already got two. Only worth 60 to sell, they were like worth 1500 to buy. I hate these things. But it's the sort of thing that's like a rare item, so I really should buy it, isn't it? <laughs> I'll make the money back with rare fishes and stuff, I guess. So, eventually, I'm sure my infinite patience is going to, work to, to pay off, right? And I'll be very happy when it does. but it's not going to pay off today. And yet I still go and catch all the bugs. Again, they're things that I can buy. Uh, sell, sorry, for good money. These are, oh, I've got some good dragon wasps. Okay, they sell for okay money. And then back to Dreamweb because I forgot to go to the coffee shop again. <laughs> and then we'll go to the endless forest. And the animals want something as well, so I'll have to go and see them too. Coffee shop! Hazel boo! Chop lots of trees! Lots and lots and lots of trees. This one is going to be a bit of a grind, I can tell. Like, everything else seems to go up really fast, but tree chopping, no, no, no. Tree chopping is taking ages. Cabbage. Milk. One chicken that wants something down here. Jelly melon. So that's probably a high level chicken. It's wanting the high level stuff from the high level merchant. <sighs> what do you want, cow? A mortito. 
You can certainly have one of those. Level 15. Wow. So they're quite high level now. They're good. Level 9. Level 5. And level 9. Okay. Level 6. Level 9. The candy sheep is fluffy and pink. Perhaps this creature is magical. Level 11. When did they become candy sheep? The lady cow moves playfully. Perhaps this creature is magical. Level 12. Level 11. So maybe when they're magical... When they become magical... At level 10, I think it is, seemingly. That might be when they become possible to get golden stuff off, maybe? So we're looking to get that level 9 pig up to level... Uh, there's two level 9 pigs, actually. So maybe that will just happen from the pigs over time. I'm trying to look after them as much as possible. Right, so we're going to go to the forest and we're just going to chop away the rest of the day. And this forest... Drop the day away so we can get to level 60. That's six whole levels away, and I haven't got a level in ages from this game. Poor wood chopping. <laughs> Thank you so long. Now, like, no golden trees here at all. That's so annoying. I don't know whether to try the other level. Or just chop a couple of these purple ones, maybe? You know, it doesn't hurt to have the purple wood, I suppose. We should start building stuff with this as well. Okay, and I'm going to leave because that was a rubbish level today. Let's see if this one's any better. No, probably not really. <laughs> I'm trapped in by insects. I don't need to be catching those. Aha! Well, this is a nice one, especially with some extra EXPs. Five. Nice. That's a golden wood stump, so that's cool. We've got a few chests in here as well, which is nice, because it's another shopping day tomorrow. Although we'll be doing the tomorrow will be next episode, because uh, we're on 48 minutes now, so. I have to keep my little eyes on the time, don't I? And then there is, like, nothing to chop that is rare after that at all. Not even purple trees. There's a couple of purple tree stumps. Oh, look, there's a rare tree as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Glad I didn't miss that one. Got some arm wood. Other than that, I'm thinking we're just going to have to chop the normal trees down. I may as well just get as much as I can. I thought I had the hazel woods. Oh my goodness, did it wear off? Did I accidentally not take it? Oh man. Oh well. <laughs> Probably just forgot to go to the coffee shop. But I may as well at this point just chop until the end of the day and then go to bed. Maybe I'll get a level. Maybe I won't. Okay. Regardless, we're going to get some EXP for that. So. Let's go to sleep. Arpeggio is level 14 now. That'll definitely, definitely next episode be getting something. Oh, we got a level and a lot. We got a lot of levels actually there. Yay! So we're nearly up to level 56, so that's four more levels. I was complaining, and I actually, we got quite a lot there. We got all the way up to level 55 and a bit more. So next episode, if we have a real, real, like, focus on it, and I really just try, we might be able to get at least close to level 60, maybe level 57, 58, if I'm very, very careful. Especially if I just go and check what the fish is. If it's not an isopod, a tarpon, or a poppy... I don't fish. And if it's not like a root bug, I don't bug catch. If I do that, I'll have more um, stamina to do my wood cutting. So maybe we should do it that way. Maximilian has a gift for me, which I will probably forget to get off him, but it's fine. 
it usually tells you a couple of times so i hope you enjoyed that episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more little wood please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please do look after yourselves and keep being awesome